Hi everyone, welcome in my next video of uh, Crash Tech 6. Um, this time um, I will activate the hammer, I built everything so I c c can make the, the stuff and then I will show how it works and also do some more washing which I also made the stuff for. So this is for the steam engine which I will make first. Let's do this, a spring in the middle, this, and this, steam engine bronze. And uh, normally I was planning to use a solar distiller, but I I changed my mind because it's uh, industrial craft. Um, it's not bad, but um, this is this uh, game is only uh, this uh, video video series about Krechtech and not about industrial. Craft. So I will uh, only use uh, of use as much Krechtech stuff as possible. The only exception are the crops. Actually, that's the only stuff from IC2 I will build I have built yet so the second thing I wanna build is a cauldron um, normally it's just iron in vanilla but now you need iron plate and a hammer also I made a bronze hammer for uh, building machines because with this I won't need uh, any longer the stone hammers any longer. Um, so um, I will um, need a bronze hammer um, for two things. It's level t t two, so stuff that c cannot be hammered by that I will need still need to hammer. Mm, 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 manually um, and of course for my uh, machines so what I will do in place of the solar distiller is make two boilers one for normal water which I will replace every now and then when it, its efficiency goes down um, but uh, most of the time I'll try to use this, uh, the new one which will come here and will use uh, distilled water which will uh, be produced by the steam engine uh, I still have stone hammers okay. um, so I need dual copper plates uh, oh. I need a wrench also. Wrench. Where are you? Wrench. Here. Um, in that chest is also something I will make. Um, it's an um, alternative to the metal pipes. The uh, wooden pipes. Um, which um, do work with normal water or distilled water because that's not as hot as a uh, steam but I guess they could also work with steam uh, but I'm not sure about that um, no um, units steam boiler ah, okay it was right okay sometimes I still forget how they work <laughs> how they are made but that's why we have not enough items don't we um, in case you forget something you can I always look up for some recipes I love it um well let's connect this also yes perfect 
now it's time for the wooden pipe actually this ones I should build as much as possible since so they do not require metal so it's a renewable resources renewable resource however metals could also be made renewable resources and my speech is um, not at the best sometimes but hopefully I get uh, that get better ones or the branch um, I'm hopeful um, like that and like that no here yes finally Okay, so I made two things now. Uh, still, since I extended the hammer a bit, I need to support the ores because they are like gravel and sand, they fall down. So, uh, which, which one am I gonna start to crush? I guess the cold ores. Let's start with the bucket of water for here. Good. Um, with this pipe you don't see what goes through however unless you install Vela then you do see it this will be about ore washing which I will do now um, yes, that removes the stone out of the ore and gives you some extra stuff one two three then replace it with water this is the advantage of having an ocean um, next to your base or an infinite water source it's not hard to make just make your water source here or here make something like this or do whatever you want or use build craft and pipe uh, and um, or another mod which um, pumps fluids into this and only into a large enough pipe and then pumps it into this so you get um, okay nice loot purified coal ore let's do that here for the moment let's take some extra water also no it's a lot but um, it will give me a lot more coal. Come on. Yes. It should actually stop after some time. So purified thorium ore. That's cool. So that contains oh that's quite a lot thorium. Actually that's better than before. Otherwise you got some nugget of or some dust and then you get a max of one unit. So now you actually get extra. That's uh, pretty cool. So the boiler is heating up. Let's, uh, let's wash some more stuff. I'm gonna try uh, vanadium magnetite. Um, let's do this also the tin copper I could also do that I will do last because it's um, radioactive it, you get radioactive stuff from it so it's not quite safe to do actually um, so vanadium magnetite which should give me vanadium something changed um no vanadium you need uh, a centrifuge um, to um, split to get vanadium or this thing that's IC2 um, but um, let's get the dust um, 
you need a centrifuge to split the two um, otherwise you, it's not really possible to get the vanadium magnetite or so steam still not activated but it should be activated now right now I almost had this feeling apparently I I uh, spoke about steam ready and it was on the green thing I get I you still get nuggets and such cool so I get pure iron from this nice very nice oh, I got one vanadium ore oh that's cool get actually stuff more stuff at random at start it was only one specific or two specific things but now you get more stuff uh, out of it so this is actually a way to get iron without dark ash which is actually cool good to know so that makes the uh, early game actually easier so now I just need to do this so it will produce Maybe I should wall this also so they will fall to here. Thing is, you don't have a block placer in here, so um, in Grechtech, so eventually you want to get a crusher. For a crusher you need uh, more power. The also one thing that you could do is make uh, yeah, this um, place lots of ores on each other, make a taller of coal ore or any other ore you want to crush and um, then do it like that then it will be semi automatically because you can place it faster than it will hammer down um, that one did go somewhere else or not nope, actually it did not Later on I could place a sign here and a hopper here. It would be easier and a chest there. Then it will just fall down in the hopper and come into a chest now that I can have some extra iron so I should be able to make a hopper actually since I originally saved iron for the for the um, but call it solar distiller I can make such a setup actually okay, um, let's wash a bit more um, yes. you have to be fast I could also place this right beneath this, maybe, but I found in my uh, mod world, in my mod pack world, that um, this generally does not always work, because sometimes they get uh, on the sides, the, the ores get on the sides and they will not interact with the water. So it's not the best idea. But uh, a dropper does work. So I could make a hopper here, a dropper here, which. Um, or just place everything in a dropper here, then a redstone clock. That works. Um, Maybe I could place a uh, video uh, link 
of um, one of their videos where you see how that uh, works actually um, we are drop our feet horse into the um, uh, crucible yes. you can also do it uh, with by hand but um, then it's click 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 um, so it's it, um, it's actually more efficient to just throw it in so once I get a machine that makes me water um, a smelter okay or are up um, damn lots of stuff lots of stuff in here I will sort it later um, now it's time for the lignite I'm gonna wait with the copper for a bit um, so he has this also um, let's look how much dark ashes 12 so 6 of them are burnt ok now we'll actually get a ton of dark ash because I think that one did escape. Yes. Um, let's put a big at here, it will be easier. It did stop. Oh. No water. Okay, no water. See, the water gets used up quite fast actually. Actually, I can just put four buckets in it, I think. Um, yes, that's the last one. Good. You see, this work is, um, it's actually quite some work but it's already better than um, hammering your ores especially for the copper ores for example you need quite a lot or should say the IC2 ores because they take a uh, quite longer time to break than Krechte ores apparently they also take more hammer durability and what did I see? This hammer does not does only use fuel, and um, so it's actually more efficient since you also need fuel for um, your manual hammers. Um, just that the better your material is, the more efficient, of course like a bronze hammer goes um, has a much better durability and has, has therefore much much more uh, uses and so you need more uh, less fuel per action in that case Because I don't have any block placer, it's a whole manual. But I crush my ores at the meantime, so that's a good thing. In my fuel, because I need lots of fuel to progress. So in that case I forgot, uh, I said it in a previous time, I forgot the... Um, to disable the IC2 ores but actually the progress is a little bit faster at the start but at on the end it will still be as hard as, um, as or as much work as um, when they are disabled because when you once you have this actually I could make this actually more earlier if I wanted 
Um, if I just melted cobblestone and such, I would also cut enough dark ash to um, make iron. So actually, you always find a way around, and you can then just make a steel hammer when you find uh, some carbon. Take the dark ashes out again. So that's three. So I think the last one is now burning. So it should almost uh, stop. I see quite a lot of work and quite the same work. But that um, is part of the is part of the game. Always have bright sides and a little less bright side, but it's better than using that hammer. Like this, tung 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 tung, break break break. It gets an auto breaking function, and look how much I broke. It's much better than that hammer. Way really much better, really. Okay, so all that purified stuff. Let's take the iron uh, dust and the tin. These may go here again. Um, so now the copper. Um, let's see. Let's hope I do not get some radioactive uh, stuff. Oh, baguette, baguette. But I have. Uh, for it so we'll see we'll see that is nickel cool I, all, I, I, I really like this because it's so cool all the things oh that looked like cobalt Yes, 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 that uh, is that shit. Um, okay, yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna die. Very probably. As you can see, you, your health does not generate as fast as in vanilla because Grey Tech slows it down. I'm gonna die. Okay, so I died from radiation. Yeah, that um, I was just too slow to put my bucket into the chest, but I did not lost any stuff. That's cool. Or no, no, I still have all things I need. Um, also, I need this, this. Since um, yeah, this metal is so much abundant, iron also, but dark ash, you know, it's quite not so easy to get. Oh, pickaxe there also. Hmm. Um, here are my dark ash. But as you can see, once you have that bronze boiler, dark ashes are flowing in. So in that case. I can start with a bigger iron production and get some better tools. I possibly will make it of this. It's not as bad as iron. Uh, I think it has a. Uh, it's, um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's look at the difference. Oh no no no. Oh, I won't use it. <laughs> no, no. That's a lot of difference, so rather not. The only thing I could use it for is for this a steam. Some other steam engine than bronze, because you get more uh, lots of that stuff. So you 
so you can combine it with iron and make this tin alloy it's actually the only use f uh, most useful thing for it or this that's actually better uh, good use very good use that's not so recently I think two three updates ago um, the uh, five or four update I think which is made with the canning machine she also will need to uh, transport water more faster uh, you can also use this pipes but it's so you can bring water into pipes from using a bucket or a dispenser which fills buckets and then you can filter the buckets with a hopper and some Grechtech filter system or vanilla filter system into the canning machine which, which will um, bring the water into um, pipes so you can make steam so this one should now be filled with distilled water you don't see it however but it's in there because this one 80% of the fluids gets um, pushed back out as um, distilled water that you can use in another boiler so now I can use this boiler if I want I can switch between the two and I will sometimes have to break this one because um, the efficiency drops after some time but okay um, I showed everything I needed to show um, so I hope you enjoyed and enjoyed it so I see you later everyone bye